23 kilometer stretch of road, probably well traveled by Gervel. It links large parts of the Cape Flats, where he lived and worked for decades. The academic wore many hats. He played a leading role in opening the University of the Western Cape to all races. He was the first DG in Nelson Mandela's presidency in 1994 and chaired numerous boards. Today he was hailed as a courageous leader who stood firm in what he believed was right. If you look at the length of the road and all the communities living past next to this road, these are all the communities that he served for the past 40 years. But also as the vice rector of the University of the Western Cape played a very important role in uniting especially blacks and coloreds and Indians uh, 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 you know, to take part in our new democracy. He may have chuckled at the honour, but his family says they're happy that his contribution is recognised. Um, a little bit of embarrassment at it, but I think he would take it um, graciously you know, and accept that he may not have had the intention of making such a big difference, but um, that he actually has. I mean, that's something that's important to acknowledge. You now it's really um, something that gives credo to the contribution my father's made to transformation in the country and that's a great honour. Fellow struggle stalwart Trevor Manuel says it's a fitting honour. We're talking about Vanguard Drive as a road of the Cape Flats but if you start this road back in Mitchell's Plain and stay on this road without moving it'll take you right up into the Democratic Republic of the Congo. You don't need to turn off it. It's a road that links Pan-Africanism and Jake's as an Africanist. Uh, I think uh, it, it's, a, it's a fitting tribute uh, to, to who he was. The renaming comes in the wake of strong opposition to a recommendation to rename Table Bay Boulevard in honour of former President F.W. de Klerk. Tripartite alliance partners are opposed to it. The city says an overwhelming number of people voted in favour of the renaming. It's now subject to the approval of council that will meet at the end of the month. Mariska Boeta, SABC News, Cape Town.